First Minister, will you apologise to the thousands of passengers who have faced this disruption since the SNP took control of Scotland's railways? The First Minister said twice that she appreciated the opportunity to update the Chamber on the ScotRail issue, but it seems she didn't appreciate the opportunity to say sorry. And passengers deserve an apology. 700 services lost every day. Almost a third will disappear. ScotRail passengers will be left with a reduced timetable or no trains at all. Yesterday, the SNP's Transport Minister couldn't give passengers any guarantee about when these cancellations will end. First Minister, with such terrible handling of the negotiations by your government, just when can passengers expect normal service to resume? Of course, these cuts are not just going to affect passengers, but they are devastating for businesses mm -hmm. as well. Businesses in our city centres that are still reeling from the impact of the COVID pandemic are now facing another lost summer. In so many places across Scotland, people are not going to be able to get a train to use it after a night out. Uh, and this is a quote from the Nighttime Industries Association just this morning, who have called the cuts to these services, and I quote, another cruel blow. They go on to say that it will put at risk, risk both Scotland's economic recovery and the future of many thousands of small businesses and jobs. First Minister, what compensation is your government going to provide to the businesses who are clearly going to be affected by these cuts? I speculated, presiding officer, that things might not go perfectly. What I did not realise was that wrecking the country's train service would become established government policy. Now, Nicola Sturgeon says she wants to get everyone round the table. That should include her own transport minister, Jenny Gilruth, who has been posted missing in all this. And that is why, that is why the unions are so exasperated. Well, the First Minister should speak to the unions like I have been doing, and she would hear the same thing.